All right, guys. Welcome along to Avo's first uh, gameplay commentary video. I'm here in the Mustang IA uh, T6 uh, Premium fighter plane, and uh, we're in the uh, bomber escort mode from the event. Uh, what was it? Blades of Vengeance 2 or something stupid. Anyway, uh, I'm flanking out to the west here and I'm trying to avoid this initial major skirmish that occurs in this mode. Um, it's pretty hectic with both teams going in full strength. Uh, we can see the, bomb, uh, the heavies up high there. Um, not too much of a concern at the back of the pack here and that's where I want to be sort of picking off um, someone at the back and, and really just carrying through. I don't want to get into a turn fight at all. Now, <coughs> Um, I do wing back over a little bit there just to get on the tail of that mosquito, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna enter any major turns. I am gonna loop back over the top and gain more altitude and uh, a much better uh, firing solution uh, as we descend back through the pack, which is uh, all pretty preoccupied at the moment. Um, if you notice, I have my sights on Siri in his Yak Nine. Uh, very briefly there, um, in hindsight it would have been far uh, more beneficial to uh, put a bit of pressure on Stewie there, but um, he's the one that fires first and uh, he, gets, he gets me back to the respawn point. Uh, Red 85 also putting in a really good effort here um, <laughs> because he gets shot down as soon as I say that but uh, nevertheless we're uh, spawning back into the middle and uh, we've got the bomber flight coming through there six bombers left I just want to get some height back and uh, there's a very convenient P-38 uh, that's climbing right in front of me which makes him a nice easy sitting duck um, too easy to just flip over and uh, complete the transaction there. Uh, we've got the XP50 who's going in the direction that I want to be going already and I'm only too happy to help him along his way. Uh, KR94, always good to get these out of the sky when you can. And that just lines me straight up with another mosquito. Now, <coughs> I changed targets here because the R220 is a far bigger uh, immediate threat, plus he was climbing, uh, which I'm only happy to do. Uh, now, spinning back around, <laughs> we get the, uh, the Zero here caught off guard, and that only leads me to um, continue the dive and uh, finish uh, poor Stewie here uh, without a hope and a prayer there. Now continuing on that dive leads me further into this pack and um, this pack's already in a lot of trouble so putting extra pressure on UXB here uh, he does try and turn inside but he doesn't really have anywhere to go after that unfortunately having no speed at all so that's an easy one for me. Uh, Pulling up there just in time to get out of the way of that heavy. I am concerned about him, but Marcel is also perhaps an even bigger uh, concern. And we just managed to dive under Marcel there and uh, put a few more rounds back. Um, now, he gets distracted there by Red, and uh, that's that's a big mistake. He, he should have kept... Uh, he should have kept turning towards me, he would have been able to complete his his kill there, but uh, it's easy to get distracted in this game and you know that's that's what happens. Um, I've got targets all over my tail at the moment, I'm feeling very vulnerable. Uh, not really expecting to live much longer past this point without an engine. I'm just kind of trying to do as much damage as I can as long as I'm left alive. And uh, there's Stewie. Uh, right on cue. Let's 
So yeah, I've been having a pretty good time with the uh, with the event. I know a lot of people had a lot of trouble with it, especially winning um, in bomber attack mode. Um, it was usually pretty challenging. You had to kind of have things uh, go your way. As uh, as you can see them go in this video. So uh, respawning here and uh, trying to get some speed and altitude again. Uh, the bomber pack is a ways behind me, so I've got time to uh, charge in uh, on a real steep dive and put some immediate pressure onto myself. Uh, who doesn't have anywhere to go and it's going to be a similar story for young UXB here uh, already sort of outnumbered and well perhaps wasting time on a, on a ground attack over there uh, we've got Red in the distance chasing that uh, fighter there and he's the last one sort of left on the ground so I decided to try and climb up with this pack and this is what I really enjoy about the Mustang. Um, you can see I'm out of boost here. I've got a red wing, and I'm still able to just effortlessly climb and put pressure on the enemy who are way too busy at the moment with uh, their work cut out for them. Uh, Stewie making a nice high turn there, and the Mustang just having just enough grunt to keep going through that turn he never even got a chance uh, to get get behind me at all uh, so climbing out there and taking out the VB10 and you know another uh, heavy there who wasn't really well he was just outnumbered so things are starting to look pretty good we haven't got a bomb it through yet but we are putting a lot of good pressure on the enemy team uh, diving uh, to try and catch up to George here but <laughs> my aim is terrible and uh, my guns are too hot and the real problem that I've got right now is this pack of reds that are swapping my bombers so I'm going to use that uh, boost and get back up get some speed going and Stewie has already taught me what he's capable of so he's going to get some attention up there. Um, flip hasn't been too much of a problem this match and we're just cruising in now waiting for that engine. Uh, nothing on my 6. Another I220. Crunched a few of them today and uh, yeah things are looking really good here. Uh, we've got a bunch of wounded reds and uh, Stewie on the spot hits the respawn and <laughs> and finds me uh, in his sights pretty readily so that was the end of that little uh, adventure okay so uh, getting a pretty quick respawn there and um, trying to catch up to the bombers uh, we noticed Marcel going low and slow once again and uh, tailing on uh, one of our heavies so I'm pretty happy to quickly hop down and trip him over and uh, get back on on point here uh, to the priority targets which are well everything that's harassing these bombers I know that we've got another bomber group coming through so I'm not too worried um, that I tweet it 20 though came out of nowhere from the clouds caught me off guard turned me uh, upside down or inside out here then we've got the LA5 doing the same and then uh, my worst nightmare in Stewie in the Yak-9 uh, doing a pass there but I don't know what he was thinking uh, he obviously was fixated on another target but um, yeah I guess that just kind of shows uh, the pressure that my team is putting on at the moment and uh, I'm able to come away with the win there in that particular uh, sortie anyway uh, Red 5 helping out with UXB there <laughs> as I 
do a mad dive past those two. Stewie getting a respawn, surely he won't miss that time. Uh, but he does. My plane though is picking to pieces and uh, Marcel getting uh, some well earned redemption there. So I must have stopped for a drink or something here because I've wasted about 10 seconds waiting to get back into this flight. Um, Stewie's had enough though, so that's a good sign. And uh, I spawn in right on the tails of the bombers, which is a pretty good spot to start. I can see there's not too much, um, not too many tickets left for the Reds now. All we've got to do is mob up here and help these bombers over the line, and. Uh, we should be good to go. Not going to turn on that heavy while there's a second heavy still coming down. I had it turned up for him. This KR uh, would have had an uh, easy, easy shot at me. Um, it's so easy to turn in front of another plane and set yourself up for a kill. And it's super cool uh, flying through the bomber pack like that. Um, really enjoy that part of the uh, event. And it really makes you uh, wonder how, <laughs> how crazy and intense some of the, uh, the real World War II uh, you know, bomber engagements must have been. So many planes, and then you know, think about doing that at night time, it would just be insane. Uh, it's a very cool, uh, cool gameplay mechanic, I think. So, we're looking really good. We've really just got to hold the bomber's hands now, and uh, unless the last multi roll on the red team can uh, pull something out of his sleeve. It's George though, the FW190 that I left behind before. I think he's probably still there doing loops. I think he's probably not quite sure what he's doing actually. So, only too happy to oblige. And, uh, Great job yeah. Today. We'll it's be one of the better games I had that weekend. So not a bad uh, haul there by the Mustang, uh, it's certainly got the potential to be a big earner when it uh, is in the right uh, circumstances and I think it's perfectly suited to these uh, bomber events. Um, yeah you can see, uh, I'm going to show you the critical damage tally here and it's just a devastating list um, and yeah there you go that's the Mustang. So, uh, thanks heaps for watching guys, um, I've really enjoyed putting it together, uh, big shout out to Postal Monkey uh, for his support and encouragement and uh, you know he, he's got a great channel going, you should definitely go and check it out um, and uh, yeah, see you next time and uh, keep flying high.